there, you wonderful Walker Valley Mustangs. It's Wednesday, April 18th, 2018. I'm your host, Ben, and I'm here with Lane. Yesterday, President Donald Trump stated that the U.S. had had conversations with North Korea at high levels, making these comments in a meeting with Japanese Prime Minister Shizo Abe. These talks come ahead of an intended summit between the U.S. and North Korea. Today, researchers stated that an asteroid which exploded in Earth's atmosphere in 2008 was a fragment of a solar system planet that existed millions of billions of years ago. According to a European team, the planet was formed in our solar system's first 10 million years before it was shattered into a bunch of itty-bitty pieces by another space rock. In National yesterday, a group of people gathered to ask Governor Bill Haslam to bring tax dollars home that are being paid to other states that have expanded Medicaid. As the governor is restarting the Medicaid expansion conservation, the group said they felt encouraged. We are sad to announce today that Barbara Bush passed away yesterday, April 17th, 2018, of respiratory issues. She was the spouse of former President George H.W. Bush, and the mother of former President George W. Bush. And now for your Walker Valley announcements. Mustangs, remember that the 2018 prom is next Saturday at the Chattanooga Convention Center. Tickets are $40 each and will go on sale in the next week in the cafeteria. Please remember that if you have any announcements, contact Ms. Black so they can be seen on the Walker Valley website. Now for a quick break and then to Logan and Isaiah who will bring us the latest on your sports. After the lukewarm reception and poor sales of On Avery Island, no one would have blamed Jeff Mangum for simply giving up on the Neutral Milk Hotel experiment. But fortunately for us, he stuck around. This time he found permanent bandmates in Julian Coster, Scott Spillane, and Jeremy Barnes. He was also inspired to write more music after reading The Diary of Anne Frank, a book that he found so tragic that he cried for over three days after reading it. He also reportedly had several dreams of building a time machine and saving Anne Frank's life. This new stability and inspiration came together and gave Neutral Milk Hotel the means to create their most critically acclaimed album, In the Aeroplane Over the Sea. This album had better production and instrumentation than its predecessor, and it also contained a cohesive narrative about Anne Frank, two-headed boys, and pianos filled with flames. It was easy to hear the raw emotion in Jeff Mangum's voice as he belted out the tragic lyrics of Two-Headed Boy, or as he softly crooned the sensual lyrics of O Comely. The tracks flow cohesively, going from the boisterous and loud Holland 1945 to the calm and soothing Communist Daughter. Mangum's songwriting allowed him to beautifully sing of themes from the morbid to the sensual without putting off listeners. The lyrical content of this album allowed listeners to peek into the life of an otherwise very secluded and lonely man. Now obviously this is a phenomenal album, but it wasn't exactly a hit in its day. It only sold 7,100 copies upon its initial release, and critics thought it was just pretty good. Neutral Milk Hotel was still just a small indie band in Athens, Georgia, but then, with the advent of the internet, the next 20 years happened. Hear all about the legacy left by Jeff Mangum in part 3, next week on The Spill. Thanks for watching, guys. Walker Valley Sports. Presented by Talk 101.3 The Buzz, your home of the Walker Valley Sports Zone every Monday night at 6.30 p.m. Hey Mustangs, I'm Isaiah and I'm here with Logan covering your sports. Last night your Walker Valley baseball team beat McMinn County 8-1. Make sure you come out and support your baseball team as they play McMinn again tonight at home. Your Lady Mustang softball team beat Saudi Daisy 3-1. Their next game is tonight against Udawa. <laughs> tonight the Cleveland Cavaliers play the Indiana Pacers on TNT at 7. Followed by that game the Houston Rockets play the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Pelicans still the first two games in Portland with a 111 to 102 win behind Drew Holiday's 33 points. That's all for your show today. For a complete recap of the spill, check us out on YouTube. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at the Spill TV. I'm Isaiah. I'm Logan. Everyone have an amazing day. <laughs>